For 1.2, we are going to be comparing and ordering those integers. Those integers are whole numbers, also counting numbers, and their opposites, positives and negatives. So when we compare numbers, you can write something called an, let me use my marker, so an inequality. So in here, you can hear, see that word equal. So we know if something's equal, three and three are the same, they're equal. The word in as a prefix means they are not equal. So when we compare numbers, we're seeing which one is more, which one is less. And you can write what we call an inequality to show a relationship between the numbers that are not equal. So that is when we use our less than signs and our greater than signs. So we are in sixth grade, so these are greater than and less than signs. You can help think, right, this is the big side. It opens up to the big one. This is the smaller pointy side. It points to the small one, but we're not drawing teeth in them. This is a math symbol, less than. It's just like you read it. I'm reading across. I get to the small side, less than. I get to the big side, greater than. And you can flip it either way for whichever one is bigger or smaller. So let's do a couple examples of some numbers here. So if I have seven and four, I know that seven is more, so I would have the big side open to seven. 46 and 85, 85 is more, so the big side would open to 85. 32 and 301, well 301 is much bigger, so the big side opens to 301. I can actually take these and flip them, and I could write that four is less than seven. So seven is greater than four, four is less than seven. So every inequality has two ways to write it. You just flip it and start from the back. 85 is bigger than 46. 301 is greater than 32. So I could say 32 is less than 301, 301 is greater than 302. So all of these numbers that were bigger, 7, 85, 302, if I put those numbers on a number line, they are farther to the right, so they're more to the right, they're positive and they're farther over to the right, and that's how I can know that they are bigger. More to the right, is bigger, farther to the left is smaller. So let's actually go ahead and write down that information here. So we always write, we go positive when I go to the right and negative to the left. And when I'm going to the right, so farther to the right is bigger, shrink that up a little bit. So when I go to the right, right is bigger. So we can actually probably just write right is bigger. There we go. Right is bigger. So that means when I go left is smaller. So as I'm going this way, left is smaller. So if I am comparing negative six and one, which one's farther to the right, one is, and one is positive, this is negative. That's a pretty good clue right there. This is positive, it's bigger than anything that's negative. So even though six sounds bigger, it's negative. You have lost six. You do not have six of those things. This person has one. So if I'm comparing those, negative six is less than one. So go ahead and graph those and write that 
with me here. So negative 6 is less than 1. I could also say 1 is greater than negative 6. So anything to the left is smaller. So then if I keep going, right, if I have 10, negative 10, now it's more to the left. Now it's even smaller than both of those. Left, smaller, right, bigger. So we also have our vertical number lines and our positive always goes up. Our negatives always go down. So when you go up is bigger. So the higher up it goes, the more it is like a thermometer, right? It gets hotter, hotter, hotter. If it goes down, it's getting colder, colder, colder. So that means when we go down is, oops, smaller. So up is bigger, down is smaller. So if I was comparing one of these, so let's mark on this number line, let's do five. So find five with me and negative three. So five compared to negative three, this one is up. So that means it's bigger. Five is greater than negative three. If I keep going up more, that means it's getting bigger. The farther down I go, that means the smaller it's getting.